Hello everybody. It is time for us to do uh, one of the boxes of our self-reflection for our report cards this year. So you will probably remember doing a sheet uh, with Ms. Elsky, um, talking about communication, critical thinking, creative thinking, and personal and social. So we're going to go through each one. I'm going to read you a little book and then you're going to have to answer. You're going to find this page. Here we are. This page in the little booklet that you just got sent home. And we're going to focus on communication today. So the communication core competency means connecting and engaging with others. So how we talk with our friends and our family. Um, acquire, interpret, and present information. So that's um, how we communicate through our writing, when we have to speak around our, our sharing circle in class, that sort of thing. How you share your, share your thoughts with your mom and dad and siblings. Um, collaborate to plan and carry out and review. So that is how do I, how do I brainstorm with other people? How do I work with other people? and share my ideas and include their ideas. And then be able to explain something, recount it and reflect on it. So sometimes we do that when we, we write in our journals, we will write something down, we'll look at it again and then we'll share it. Um, so I'm going to read you Chester, the book Chester. This is for communication, so keep that in mind as I'm reading it, all right? Once upon a time, there was a mouse. He lived in a house in the country. Then Mouse packed up his bags and went on a trip very, very far away. And we never saw him again. So Chester moved in and made a few changes to his place. Chester's chair, Chester's home sweet home. But Mouse returned home. Oh yes, did I mention he brought back a really big souvenir with teeth? Back to the story. Once upon a time, there was a mouse. He lived in Chester. Move, move out of the way. He lived in the country with his vegetarian dog who only ate carrots. Then Melanie begged Chester to write a better story. And it goes something like this. Once upon a time, there was me. Chester stands for charming, handsome, envy of mouse, smart, talented, envy of Melanie, really handsome. Chester lived in Chesterville where mice weren't allowed. It was a beautiful day. Until it started to rain. As I was saying, once upon a time, there was a mouse. He lived in a house in the country. The end. Chester, this is where I draw the line. Nope, I'm drawing the line. Do not cross this line. Keep out Chester's side. Chester, that's enough. Hand over that marker instantly. Chester's busy. Hi, I am Melanie Watt. And I am very angry. Hello, I am boring and I am Joseph Chester.
Chester, I'm warning you. Hand over the marker and apologize before I count to three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, la 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 la. All right, Chester, you want your own story? You want to be the star of this book? Well, get ready. Here it is. Finally. Once upon a time, there was a cat named Chester. He lived in a house in the country. Chester was a very handsome cat, especially when he wore pink. You wouldn't. A pink tutu. Now it's personal. The end. So think for a minute how this book about Chester was related to communication, so talking with others. Think for a minute, I'll talk about it. Well, Chester tried so hard to just get his own story out that he kept trying to talk over the mouse. And then when the mouse tried to communicate his frustration, Chester wasn't understanding. So the mouse had to make up a story that Chester wouldn't like for him to understand how frustrating it was. So I would say that, the Chest, that Chester and the mouse had poor communication. It wasn't very good. They weren't connecting and engaging with each other. So what could they have done to do that? They should have listened to each other when they were talking, right? They should have come up with a plan, a collaborative plan to be able to tell both of their stories. Okay, so that's how it's connected to communication. So your job for today is to grab your sheet and on this side, underneath, in this blank box here, I want you to answer this question. It says, I share my ideas and questions by. I share my ideas and questions by. So how, did, how do you share your ideas and questions? You can think about how you did this in school and I want you to think about how you did this at home. All right, so at school, how did you share your ideas and your questions? And then how did you do those same things at home? Because our learning has been from home for the last six weeks. I would like you to think about how you shared and communicated your ideas and questions at home and how you did it at school. And I want you to write it in here for me. All right, that's our first communications. All right, this gets attached to your report card, so I want you to try and write as neat as possible and keep this page as nice as you can. And we've got two more to fill in after this one. All right, I can't wait to see what you guys wrote for communication. This is a reminder that these pages have to be returned back to the school so that I can have a hard copy of them. And your name goes right at the top where it says uh, core competency self-reflection. On that line at the very top, you're going to write your name there. Okay, enjoy. I'll see you in the next video.